Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to knit fancy slip stitch ribbing. This pattern creates really nice squishy ribbing and you can see the result here. The first thing you need to do is cast on a multiple of 5 stitches plus 2. I've cast on 22. Then for row 1 which represents the right side or the front of the knitting you need to begin with 2 purl stitches. So make sure the working yarn is at the front of the needles towards you and purl two. And then we start the repeating section. So first take the working yarn between the needles to the back and knit one stitch. Then we're going to slip one stitch purl wise with the yarn in back. So make sure the working yarn is at the back behind the needles. Then take the right hand needle down through the next stitch as if to purl, but instead of purling it, you just slip it off the end of the needle, like so. Then knit one, and lastly bring the working yarn between the needles to the front and purl two. And you just repeat those five stitches over and over until the end of the row. So that's knit one, slip a stitch purl wise with the yarn in back, knit one, and purl two, and so on until the end of the row. For row 2, all you need to do is knit 2, bring the working yarn to the front and purl 3, and then take the working yarn to the back again and knit 2. Then just repeat, purl 3 and knit 2 across the row. So that's purl 3. and knit two, purl three, and knit two, and so on. And that's it, that's the two row pattern repeat. Once you've knit those two rows over and over, you should end up with something like this. As you can see, you end up with squishy stockinette stitch ribs with a line of slip stitches down the center. And on the back, you'll instead see horizontal lines between the stockinette stitch ribs. As a side note, if you want to knit this pattern in the round instead, you would need to follow these instructions. One last note I want to add is that if in this pattern you slip one purl wise with the yarn in front rather than in back, as I'm showing here, then this will be the result. So if you end up with this pattern instead, you'll know where you went wrong. And that's it, that's how you knit the fancy slip stitch rib. I really hope you found that useful and thank you very much for watching. 